So hello everyone and welcome to another video. This time it's going to be a power query video. I'm going to show you how you can do a lookup value in the same table in Power Query. Are you ready? Let's get started. Okay guys, so cleaning a lot of PDFs, that's what I'm doing at the moment. And something that I find is that you get from a page, you get different tables and the information is related, but it is on different tables. So it is, for example, like this. This is, comes from one page on the PDF. And you have part number description, and then you have a number, part number price in the same table. And you need to put these basically like that. And there are a lot of ways to do it, as everything in Power BI. You could, for example, import these twice and then merge it. But because I am dealing with a lot of PDFs in the same folder, you know, creating different functions and putting it together is, is just messy very, very quickly. So I'm going to show you another way to do it that is actually quite cool. Are you ready? Okay, so what we're going to do is instead of importing this data twice and merging, we're going to merge it with each other right away. Did you know that you can do that? Check this out. So you merge sheet one, two with sheet one, two with itself. And then you use this one. So all from first matching from second. That's perfect. Okay. And then you're going to get, you see, the values twice. So the value, this value and the value corresponding from that one, which is exactly what we want. What we're going to do before that, let me use first row such headers. And then let's get rid of null and it depends on how your data you do this or not it doesn't matter so now we can merge the queries how about we do it again <laughs> we merge with itself but number and expand and now we're going to expand the description because we want to have the price and it's in the description column that you have the price this is not going to be called description one this is going to be called price and uh, what you need to do now is, you know, everything got duplicated, obviously, so you get all the variations of it when you merge. We don't want to have that. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the parts from here and, and the prices from here. In this case, because this is part A, first we're going to do, if you try to, I think the easiest way to remove this is to say contains the word part. Now, you won't be able to do that here because it's a number it thinks that it's a number so we need to change it to text first both of them and now it will give us the filter thing you could do that with them also but it does not contain the word part part and then in here we need to remove the number so we're going to do the exact opposite contains the word part Mm -mm. Voila. So now we have the table that we want to merge from both. So this is quite a neat way to find the values from itself. So I hope this is useful. It's a, a very, very specific case, but anyhow. So I will see you again on Friday. And if you are a Power Query user, make sure you check out my video last week about best practice on how things you can do so your queries don't break that often, basically. So it is going to be in there, so go and check it out. Bye-bye.